Over 900,000 cardiac surgical procedures are performed in the United States alone every year. The first successful valve surgery in the world was performed at Brigham and Women's Hospital in 1923. Hi, I'm Dr. Tor Sunt. I'm a heart surgeon and the director of the Cardiac Surgery Clinical Service at Mass General Brigham. So what is heart surgery? Heart surgery, also known as cardiac or cardiovascular surgery, is surgery on the heart and great vessels performed by cardiac surgeons. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for men, women, and people of most racial and ethnic groups in the United States. One of the most common reasons for cardiac surgical procedure is coronary artery disease. The coronary arteries are the arteries on the heart that supply blood to the heart itself. When those arteries become blocked, the heart can't get enough oxygen and you can have a heart attack. Coronary bypass surgery is an operation to prevent heart attack. So what are the symptoms? For some people, a heart attack is the first symptom of coronary artery disease. But if you do have a symptom, the most common one is chest pain or angina pectoris, which is tightness and pressure in the heart, chest, or arm. It may happen with exertion and doesn't feel like a typical pain. People with coronary artery disease may have normal EKG. So your primary care doctor did not do anything wrong in not catching it sooner. It can also be hard for some people to believe that they need an operation when they've not had any symptoms. That's why I personally always show patients their actual angiogram where you can see the blockages. The top three things people ask me about bypass surgery are, number one, do you actually clean out the artery? The answer is no, we don't clean out the blockage, we bypass around it. Number two, will this prevent me from having a heart attack? It won't prevent it 100%, but it's been shown to reduce the risk of heart attack and can make you live longer. And three, will I live a normal life after surgery? The answer is yes, you can. The bypass grafts, especially if it's an artery from the chest wall, will be open for many, many years, especially if you reduce your cholesterol, don't smoke, and increase your exercise so you can go back to completely normal activities. Our goal is to use as many arterial grafts as possible as opposed to veins from the leg. And for younger patients particularly, we try to get as close as possible to complete arterial grafting. Before surgery, if you smoke, quit smoking. If you have diabetes, make sure it's under good control. That can reduce your risk during the operation. After surgery, you'll probably be in the hospital for a little less than a week. Some patients may need to go to an inpatient rehabilitation facility prior to going home. Ultimately, your doctor wants to set you up for recovery success after having such a major surgery. After surgery, once the bones have healed, there's no limitation to your activities. The most not asked question, to be quite frank, is whether or not someone can have sex after they've had their operation. The answer is yes. People can be crippled by fear of future heart issues, but the truth is it's very important for patients to know that after heart surgery, you can go back to living a full, normal life, including an active romantic life. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Tor Sunt. And for more understanding videos, click here. And don't forget to subscribe here.